What's going on everybody? I thought today's video we could do something that I've never done before on my channel. Um, so back in the day before like we had social media like Instagram and everything where artists would post uh, their artwork. Um, we had a little thing called Deviant Art, and uh, man, I had a Deviant Art even back when I was like, I think even like 14 years old or something, I started uploading on there. This was years ago. I haven't put anything uh, new on there since. Um, but I have a bunch of old art on there that I felt like uh, just kind of going down memory lane, checking it out. So I thought it'd be cool just to just kind of uh, record this video here and uh, show y'all some of my old work from back in the day. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try and find my stuff. So oh, this was Jagaroth. That was my uh, my name. That's like my uh, that's kind of like my account name I've used since like RuneScape days when I was like ten years old. So um, nothing's popping up there. Let's uh, let's pull up uh, an old drawing and we'll find my page that way. So I remember this one. Specific. There it is, right there. Slay King Kong versus Ty Rantrum. Dang, let's see, What uh, when did I do this one? December 20th, 2013, so, dang, 11 years ago, so it was like 20, 21? Nah, I was 21, December 20th, yeah, I was already 21 by that time, so. Check that old piece out, man. Based that off of uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong, where King Kong faces, uh, I guess, the three T-Rexes. This is like right when Tyrantrum, I think, was revealed. And of course, Tyrantrum is my favorite Pokemon, so I had to uh, draw a little scene there in a little Meloetta, Meloetta, I think that's what, how you pronounce it right, as the uh, damsel in distress there the from uh, King Kong. So let's go ahead, let's go check out my profile here. Oh, let's see some stuff. All right, gallery, all, oh, only 44? I feel like I had more than that. Let's, let's check this sucker out, so. So this is, these are some of my uh, uh, traditional pieces. I've posted stuff like this on my uh, YouTube channel before. It's an old Darth Vader there. Venom. So I mean, I've, I've seen all these recently because I have the actual physical pieces. So I won't go through these as slow because I posted them up on this channel and you can go watch my old videos if you want to see them. Oh, here we go. A little Goku Black. Did this for a, a buddy of mine. This was a commission. Yeah, the motherfucker uh, never never fully paid me his cheap ass. I think I think I only charged him like, at the time, I think I had like 30 bucks and that motherfucker only gave me like 15. You cheap ass motherfucker, I'll tell you. Is that this one? Uh, Shin Godzilla or Shin Gojira. I posted that one here on YouTube before. Eh, random Yeti. Old Orc. These are uh, Copic markers that I did this stuff with. Eh. All right, let's, uh, so with this navigation, okay. So can I, man, you can't upload more per page. All right, fine. Uh, posted all these on my YouTube. If you've uh, looked through my old uh, YouTube videos, I'm pretty sure I show off um, the Berserker. I like that one. It's one of my OG characters. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've shown these before um, in a previous video where I kind of go over a bunch of my old art. I want to see some old digital stuff. Where's it at, man? Come on. Oh, here we go. Little primal grout on, uh, kind of like a logo type of thing. The Berserker again. That was my, uh, uh, you see this? That was like my old, my old logo right there that I, that I had when I was doing uh, this digital art. So like back then, like with, with this stuff, if, this is before I had Procreate. This is before I think Procreate even existed at this time. So what I would do, I'd draw it traditionally and then I would scan it into the computer and then uh, I would just color it in Photoshop. And I would, I didn't have a, I didn't have like a tablet, like a, like a screen or anything or the, uh, the art, the, whatever the, the wireless digital art pen is for like a uh, Photoshop and stuff. So back then I had to Use the mouse. That's how I colored all my uh, my artwork back in the day. 
um, you know, broke boy problems. You know, I can I can afford to have like uh, all that stuff back then, all that all that tech. So I do old fashioned way. Um, so back on my page, uh, on this page, I, I remember this specifically. I used to upload a lot of kaiju art. That's that's that was like my that's since I was a kid. That was my number one thing was kaiju. Before like. Uh, like, I know Monster Hunter is what's big on my channel, or even Pokemon or anything. Kaiju, man. Godzilla fan. Through and through since I was a little chitlin, man. As long as I can remember. So, um, this is one of my original kaiju I designed. Um, I actually uh, based it loosely, or I got inspiration, let's say, from Palkia. One of my favorite Pokemon uh, when I designed this thing. Um, but yeah, I did this all traditional, inked it traditionally, scanned it in. And like I said, I'd color it in uh, Photoshop with just my mouse. So I like that piece. These are actually all like redesigns because like I remember the first iteration I did years before this, like uh, it didn't didn't quite look like this. But this is kind of like a mecha, like a cyborg kaiju. Um, I think on some of them I used to give lore. So maybe we can find that. Uh, uh, here, here's another one, Mega Sidious. One of my kaiju I designed. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted like uh, to create my own sort of uh, destroyer uh, type of monster, just like a super powerful. You can see she's got that egg sac down there. Uh, kind of like a, these aren't really, I mean, I guess they can kind of look like eyes. Um, I wanted them to kind of look like they were insect eyes, even though it's just like kind of gaps in the armor. Um, cool scorpion tail. Originally, I remember back in the, my first design, it wasn't white. It was, um, I think it was a black and purple or something like that. Yeah, so these are all, all the redesigns for stuff I did when I was even younger. Behemoth, little behemoth design. I wanted to make it really tribal, I remember that. Kind of like a, I think I, that was kind of loose, the, uh, the tips on the hair there. I think I was kind of loosely inspired by like uh, World of Warcraft trolls when I was doing this design. When was this? 2014, 10 years ago. Rancora, this one was fun. Yeah, I, you know what I need to do? I need to um, redesign these things again or even just kind of draw them up again now since these are like 10 years old. Maybe draw them up and procreate and I'll uh, maybe post them on my channel here. Maybe some, do some new designs or something for y'all to watch. Rancora, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, because I can do this so much better now. I can like, actually do glow effects and shit. Because I was very limited back then when I was working. Ultimate Kaju Leviathan. So this is basically like the Godzilla, as you can see, of my, uh, my universe. Leviathan. Yeah, the OG one, I talk about it down here in the comments. Um, the OG design for this had so much shit, like uh, these like frilled wings on the back and all these like tentacles and it had, it was so OP, dude. Um, actually, no, here it is over there. You'll see, uh, I'll show you the, the, uh, the original uh, concept for this monster. King Sovereign. Yes, I know sovereign means king because he's the king of kings, this guy. He was like, he was gonna be the hulking, just super uh, brutish kaiju of this universe, the, the more humanoid type. Um, weak, the weak spot was gonna be his eye. And then it had, I remember this concept where like the eye was like the source of its power and everything. And then like what it would do when it powers up or like the, the eye glows, like the there would be like these veins type of things that would, like the energy you'd see it shoot down. So it kind of replicates like these crazy, uh, just vascular veins all over and you get pumped up and shit. Um, that's that one. Let's see, let's go to, all right, we gotta go to the next page, don't we? All right, page four. Oh, here we go, here's a little gargoyle. He's cool looking. 2014, dude. Good times, man. There was a, so that was that Rancora. This was the, what it looked like before that new design. Um, that's the headshot there. I remember doing that. Primal Showdown. 
Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre. Sorry, Kyogre fans. Groudon's always been my dude, but Kyogre's dope too. Like, I love Kyogre also, but kind of had to do the, uh, the Godzilla atomic kiss scene, you know? Because 2014, I remember that Godzilla, the Godzilla movie came out. And then I kind of want to do a play on that that scene uh, from the movie when he kills the Muto, blows the atomic breath in the mouth. Felt like replicating that with the uh, Kyogre. Um, 2014, Godzilla. Honestly, probably my favorite movie of all time. You know, it's, I know from like a technical standpoint in Godzilla films, the best Godzilla film you probably is the OG 1954 or minus one now, if you're gonna like, like critically rate it. But um, personally, 2014, when I saw that movie, I'd been waiting so long since I was a kid for like a legit CGI Godzilla film. The 1998 one, it was cool when I was a little kid, but as you got older, like that's not real Godzilla in that movie, mm, not that great. So when this movie fucking finally came out, dude, I can't tell you how excited I was. I've never been more excited to like see anything in my life. And I've never had a greater impact in the movie theater than when I saw this movie. My heart rate was pounding, dude. When Godzilla first, just the teases of it, that movie was great. The people who think Godzilla wasn't in it enough, you've never seen Godzilla movie because uh, most of the time Godzilla's not in it that much if you actually time it. So uh, if you knew anything about Godzilla. So that's always been my problem about people complaining about those films. It's named, the film's named because the film name is Godzilla and he's hardly in it. It's about the effect around everything that happens because of Godzilla. It's not just him on the screen all the time, you know? So, rant over, here we go. Spider-Man versus Venomzilla. I ain't gonna lie. So I remember I did it, I think I, this might be the, the original piece. I think I'm the first person to ever do that. Uh, Venom Godzilla, 2014. I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> cause, I never, Cause I remember on DeviantArt, I used to search around and nobody ever did a, a Venom, a symbiotic Godzilla. Pretty sure I was the first one, so. Just saying, no big deal, really. But uh, yeah, Venom, Zilla taking on Spider-Man. Oh shit, so yeah, so even seven years before that, I did uh, Venom, Zilla. So seven years ago, so in 2007, when I was 15, I did I drew a Venom, Zilla. I'm probably the first person in the world for that. Just saying, no big deal, really, you know? Um, I know I've seen a couple people do it since then, but you know. I'm the OG, bro. The OG. Mega Cacturn. Megas. Love the Megas. That's the best gimmick that Pokemon's ever had. Everything else after that, haven't been a fan. I always liked Cacturn, so. And, you know, that, that was not bad. I always, I never felt like I could fully nail the Pokemon uh, uh, art style, but that one's pretty close. I remember, yeah. Just based on that, that light in there, I did that well, but yeah, I was never fully happy with my Pokemon. Just a random Venom, Goku, Groudon. I remember, I, I'm pretty sure I remember drawing that piece, or this was based off of, um, I think there was a toy or something that kind of looked similar to this, or like a little statue. Um, and I think that's kind of what I used, if I remember correctly, when I, when I drew that. Here we go, Pokemon meme. Um, your favorite Pokemon of each type. Here, so here's mine, guys, here's mine. Bug is Scizor, Dark, Tyranitar, Dragon, Tyrantrum, of course, the best Pokemon ever. I like the Buzz Electric, Gramble Fairy. I think, remember, this is, this is non-legendary edition, so, because like Xerneas is cooler than Gramble. Actually, and, and this was before, obviously, so this is what, 2014, so we didn't have that many fairy Pokemon to begin with. Fighting, Mega Blaziken. Honestly, you know what I should do? I should, um, I should like redo something like this and maybe post it up on the channel, I don't know. Let me know if that's something y'all would like to see me do, where I kind of draw my favorite Pokemon of each type. Um, Mega Charizard X for fire, Noivern for flying, Mega Gengar. But bunch of Megas on here. Dude, Mega Gengar is so dope. Uh, Grass, Cacturn, Ground, Swampert, Weavile, Icy. I would definitely change up a bunch of these now. Normal Zangoose, Poison, Saviper, um, Gallade, right? Psychic, Mega Aerodactyl Rock, Napoleon Steel, Gyarados Water. I would definitely, um, 
I would definitely change these around, I think. Although if I had legendaries, it would be totally different anyway. So yeah, that was a cool, that was a cool piece back then. So what do we got on page five? That's that piece. Maybe I'll redo something like that too and post it up, you know? Let me know if that's something y'all wanna see. King Sovereign, there he is again. Just juiced out of his mind. So that's the OG Rancor design. Um, yeah, yeah. There we go, Palkia Dialga Giratina. Palkia is one of, was one of my all time uh, favorite Pokemon. The whole trio is dope, but Palkia, I was a pearl. I pretty, I pretty much always, so with every Pokemon generation, it's almost always like a red, some sort of shade of red and some sort of shade of blue. I pretty much always go with the the red edition, whatever that ends up being. I think every time I have, besides obviously black and white, you know, I, I went with white and then I think white two. Yeah, because white had Zekrom on it and then I think I got white two with, it was like it flipped in the second, I think in the second one, because the one I had was a, uh, the, the Reshi Ram, um, Q Ram, whatever that one was. Yeah, so there's that. I know I had more art than this. I wonder if I, um, oh, scraps, here we go. Here's just like some sketches or some shit, right? Yeah, so here's some uh, King Ghidorah, kind of like a my own redesign of it. Godzilla sketch, that was definitely done during class. I can tell you that much, I know that. Deathwing, it's a little scrawny. A little scrawny for Deathwing. Ah, terrible. Oh, here's a, so here's some of my other OG Kaiju. God, dude, I was so, I was so amateur. <laughs> <laughs> that shading fucking sucks, dude. Oh my god. Uh, 2008, so 16. I was 16, and like I said back then, especially I was uh, just using that mouse to color this shit. Boy, that blue. It took me forever. It took me forever to draw uh, and color and digitally with a stupid mouse. Um, a contest entry. That's right. There's a dude on here. Uh, Godzilla Samurai was his account name. His name's Matt Frank. He's a he's like a legit uh, artist, comic book and everything. Like probably like the number one kaiju artist out there. Um, he used to on DeviantArt. He would hold, uh, host um, like design competitions and stuff. So I would uh, enter them. This was uh, one of my let's see kaiju redesign. Kaishin Muba. Dang, look at that, I got the bio and everything back in the day, man. I used to get into it, dude. When I would design myself, I don't do, do it anymore, but like back then when I was just like no life in it, I would just, uh, just living in my own world, I would come up with all the, the lore and all, I used to love doing that shit and I'd be thinking of like their abilities or if they were in a video game, like um, like what their stats would be and shit like that. I used to love that, man. Um, don't do it anymore, man. Life weighs, weighs you down, all right? All right, so. There's that one. Gagerius. That was a monster design. I'm per God, dude. Look how bad that shading is. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Oh, here we go. See? Got the height and stuff. I would do like their attack, defense. I used to love that shit, man. Ah, I love coming up with that stuff. Cloverfield, uh, that was another Godzilla Samurai uh, contest entry. Redesigned the Cloverfield monster. That, so that was my redesign there. And that was the Parasite, uh, the Parasite version of it. The small ones, that was a good ass movie. Godzilla. Fuck, God, I hate looking at the coloring on this stuff. It is terrible, dude. It's so bad. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Here's some old Pokemon stuff. So, um, what was it? Dark, was it, wasn't it like Shadow? What was the name in Mystery Dungeon? Was it Shadow Dialga? Was it just that? Or was it, no, it was Prime, wasn't it Primal Dialga? What was it called? I don't remember. 
but uh the mystery uh mystery dungeon games i used to always get those like every i've gotten every single pokemon generation mainline and i got every mystery dungeon up until i think like the, the most recent one i didn't didn't buy and so then they didn't have a palkia version but so i just kind of designed my own i remember doing that 2008 so here remember that that first uh design i told you that kaiju I, I did this is the original design so i did that actually i did that when i was 15 and it turned uh, 16 yet so attack defense speed weapons intelligence got a whole bio down here if any of y'all want to look like if i'm going too fast and you like actually care to read this shit i used to write um just uh here just go that uh just search me up on deviant art and you can uh you can snoop and do all that shit, you know? Copyright, that's right. Xylagon, copyright, Josh White. You got that? That's my, that's my design. Can't steal it. Space Ghidorah. There's a request. Cloverfield. Ah, oh, man. Thank God I don't draw like that anymore. Rancora, that was the first time I drew Rancora. Oh man, good times. Life was a simpler place back then. Bova Maeth. Honestly, that could be like a Monster Hunter monster now that I'm looking at it. I could like redesign. You know what, I might go back and redesign all these Kaiju. I'm thinking about it now, post that shit up, you know? Got the bios down there and everything, man. Crystalac from Godzilla Unleashed on the Wii. Love that game, love that monster too. I wish I'd come out with another Godzilla in Mega City. So remember earlier on that I told you that I did the first the first time I ever drew it, it was like black and stuff. It was basically a xenomorph, let's be real. It's a xenomorph with like fucking crab legs attached to his back. It was a cool concept. Um but yeah, heavily inspired by a xenomorph, but and then there was like different like I said, this was kind of my destroyer of my universe, so it had a multiple um, evolution stages so this would be like the queen and this would be uh like the third evolution stage or whatever which would kind of be like the uh all the males or i don't remember was this was this the, the 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 quote unquote king i don't remember and then there is it oh Godzilla 2000 terrible Terrible artwork. Terrible artwork. And then here's the other Megasidious. The drone. So yeah, the other one, the purplish one with the, the claws, that was the king. And this one is the uh, the drone of their species. And then this is the other stages. But this is totally like Xenomorph shit. You know, like the face sucker and you know, all that kind of crap. Um, so the infection form the parasite form and the juvenile form oh yeah makura had to put a scorpion monster in there you always gotta do the big insectoid or arachnids you know ziz so there's leviathan behemoth ziz based off of the creatures the biblical creatures Basically like the Rodan of my universe. Lightning Breath and Fireballs. This little, again, I used to make these things so OP, dude. I was not a, a telepathic bond. Armor Scales. It's like Seregios a little bit, right? 2007. Behemoth. So remember the other uh, Behemoth I did with it, where it's a real tribal looking, like I said. This was how, this is the first design I ever did. It's a six-legged sauropod, uh, which actually is a cool concept. I might, uh, dude, you know what? There's all my designs, my creations. I might have to uh, update these. I kind of want to now. Groudon, of course. The OG King Sovereign, so you can kind of, there you go, see around the eyes, those little kind of uh, veins, quote unquote, type of, uh, but they almost, it's almost like those, um, Kind of like the ancient technology look that you see in like Zelda and everything. Like 
the glyphs. This was a request. So that, that's what Leviathan used to look like. Like I say, wings and fucking tentacles and shit. And do you like every element ability? So OP. Hold on, let's see. Dude, look at these bios I used to come up with, dude. Fucking loser. Oh my God, I don't even wanna read this shit. It's fucking so embarrassing of it, ugh. But man, I was into it. Coming up with my own, coming up with my own shit. Regenerative power, glacial breath. You could fly, you could swim, breathe fire. Six senses, electrical power through the tentacles. Like, bro, like, right, come on, OP, OP, dude. And that was it again. Just kind of thinking of uh, redesigns and all that snazz. What do we got over here? This was another, this was like an art trade. I remember that with this guy. This was his kaiju. He drew mine and then I drew, I drew his. Oh man. See, look at that. Boom. Look at that shit. September 26, 2007. I'm telling you, I was the first person to come up with Venomzilla. Nobody did it before me. Show me proof, all right? Show me proof that somebody did it before me. I doubt it. Doubt it. Crystal Act. Carnage. Got it. God, man. This one. So this is when the first time I drew, uh, designed my Leviathan. Dude, I remember. So this, this wasn't done with ink, okay? This is a pencil sketch that I scanned into the computer. And then, like I said, I had to take the damn mouse and I had to literally draw that fucking line work with a mouse and then color it. Dude, it took me forever, forever. I remember, up. God, oh my God. Thank God I don't have to do that anymore. And that was for, uh, again, when I met Frank's uh, Kaiju contests come up with the lore and all that. But yeah, dude, look how OP I made him. Like, come on, that's not fair. That's not, that's not even fun when you have like an OP monster. But you know, when you're 14 years old, you don't, you don't know shit. So you don't think about that stuff. You're just like, let me make the most badass thing and it's gonna be cooler than everybody else's. You know, it doesn't work like that, you know? So I think that's all my art on here, man. Shit. I used to do updates and everything. Oh man. And you can see some of my uh, favorites. That right here, this shit. This is by Matt Frank. This is the dude I'm talking about. <sighs> He's a badass. God, I used to love his art. Rob Frank, or not Rob Frank, Rob Duaneus. <laughs> Why did I say Rob Frank? Rob Duaneus. I learned how to use Copic markers from him. Um, I actually have a commission from him from a long time ago, Diablo. But uh, yeah, I learned I learned about Copics and how to use Copics from watching his YouTube stuff back in the day. Let's look at some other people's art, man. Yeah, see, there it is. That was his commission. Started his commission for me. Cool stuff, man. Memory lane. Memory lane. Yeah, there's a completed piece. Sick. Yeah, whatever. All right. So that's it, folks. That's some of my old ass art. So you can see uh, where my skill levels were at back then versus now, you know? Wasn't that good back then. <laughs> Not that good now, but better than I was, you know? Yeah. But um yeah, whatever. That's it for this video. Um do me a solid. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and yeah, and until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.